Welcome to the C.S. Joseph Podcast. I'm your host, C.S. Joseph, and today we are answering yet more Acolyte questions. If you would like to become an Acolyte and have your question featured here on the YouTube channel or on the podcast, go to csjoseph.life forward slash members, become a journeyman member, and then upgrade to Acolyte from there. Or if you already are a journeyman member, go to csjoseph.life forward slash portal, click on Acolyte, and it'll take you to the page so that you can upgrade your membership from there. The total membership after being Acolyte is like 100 bucks a month. And you get access to all of our private content with the exception, of course, of the Discover uh, pieces also in the portal. Those are just either part of a bundle or just people that can buy one-time purchase, no big deal, and get access to uh, some Season 14 episodes and uh, the Season 19 episode related uh, to their type, etc. But anyway, enough of the sales pitch. Let's actually get right down to the question and the answer uh, from this Acolyte member. Quote, hey, Chase, uh, something I consistently struggle with is identifying when I'm using a certain cognitive sense. I also want to know what I can do to develop my SE parent. So my question is, Drummel, what sorts of activities engage each of the individual cognitive functions? A quick little bonus question is W. Anton an ESTP? Yes, W. Anton is an ESTP, period, end of story. He is the author of the manual. And uh, if you're struggling as a man uh, with manhood masculinity or ultimately getting laid, I recommend reading his book if you are a Templar type and uh, maybe even uh, a Wayfarer type. SE user men, especially Templars, heavily benefit from reading his book, uh, The Manual, and like I said, The Ultimate Study Technique. You want to learn from people who have the same or similar cognitive functions to you so that you can basically replicate what they have done uh, within their life so that you can actually arrive to the same conclusions that they have over time. Welcome to the collective unconscious. That being said, what sorts of uh, activities to engage to develop my SE parent? Well, there are two different ways that you can actually develop uh, SE parent. The first way is using cognitive axis, and that means you would be focusing on the introverted function attached to SE parent, which would be NI child. This means in order to uh, develop uh, SE parent, you would end up taking a lot more risks uh, than you would typically with your NI and just follow your heart with your NI situation. The thing is, is that NI child, when it makes decisions and goes after what it wants, it creates a lot of consequences and a lot of mess for other people to clean up with your SE parent. And this is oftentimes where SE parent becomes very irresponsible. So you have to get to a point in your life where you're becoming really choosy about what it is you want. And you actually stop yourself and ask yourself, is this really something I should be wanting right now? Uh, and and that's that is that's in general one way to do it. The other way is to use um, cognitive orbit by going down to the uh, shadow function that is attached to your SE parent, and that is introverted sensing critic. And we talk a lot about this within uh, season 19. It's also heavily talked about in season 18 as well, which is available to members at csjoseph.life forward slash members. Or if you're on our email list, we email one episode of season 18 out every single month. Uh, but if you want to like watch all of them in case you lose that link, etc., uh, they are available uh, to members. So you can watch all of season 18. It is posted in the members area portal, so you can check that out. Uh, but... Uh, developing your SI critic. And let's let's talk about SI critic versus NI child. NI child is all about wants, but SI critic is actually all about needs. SI is for needs, NI is for wants. SI is for sharing, and NI is for asking. And develop SE parent. SE parent needs to learn how to ask other people before it actually makes a decision to want something. And that really helps the SE parent understand if other people around them have had experiences with the same decision. This helps the SE parent become more responsible over time. And that's one access way of development uh, for SE parent. But the... Uh, the orbit way of development for the parent is really coming to an, a really big understanding or a good understanding of a person's needs versus wants. And you ask yourself, okay, yeah, I want this, but do I actually need this? And I always ask whether or not you need something whenever you're considering wanting something because 
when you mentally ask within yourself, okay, hey, is this something I actually need? You're giving your introverted sensing critic a voice at your mental table, basically. It's being represented. Um, and it's that kind of representation that is necessary, that mental check that is necessary in order for you to make the absolute best responsible decision on the part of SE Parent. And it'd be really easy for you over time as an STP uh, or, or an SFP, uh, either one, uh, an ISFP or an uh, ISTP, one of those two types, to really understand the difference between what is a responsible decision versus what is an irresponsible decision very quickly. Because you'll be able to separate your decisions based on two different categories, wants versus needs. Needs are more likely to be responsible decisions. Wants are more likely to be irresponsible decisions. So as a result of that, knowing these two differences, you can actually kind of triage your way or separate your way or segregate your way in terms of your thinking, your decision making to increase the likelihood or the probability that you would be engaging in more responsible behavior. And that too will help develop your SE parent and make it more responsible over time. Uh, that, that's super important. Now, naturally, you know, when it comes to developing other parent functions, you can follow the same process, et cetera. And, and that's, uh, that's definitely uh, you know, a way to do it. And uh, you can even apply this methodology to any other uh, cognitive function pairs between axis and orbit as well in terms of personal development. But be warned, development gets even more complex if they're gateway function. Gateway functions being hero, uh, inferior, nemesis, and demon functions. Those are the four gateway functions. And there's additional complexity when it comes to developing those functions as well. I talk about how that works heavily in season 19. I also talk about how that works in season 18 as well. So anyway, folks, uh, hopefully uh, that answers this Acolyte's question. And thank you for submitting it uh, for this month and uh, being able to uh, make this content uh, for the rest of the audience out there and even uh, non-members as well. So. Uh, anyway, folks, uh, remember to like and subscribe, leave a comment while you're at it. I read all the comments. And with all that being said, folks, I'll see you guys tonight.